Hello world, this is Derek Braid from cashflow.ca. You can find me on Twitter at royal underscore arse. Today we're going to do a tutorial on Git and GitHub basics. We're going to go over the workflow for modern web development and we're going to use some common tools, uh, specifically Meteor.js, the web framework. We're going to use Hub, which is a, um, a companion or a tool to GitHub, uh, which you can get on OSX by typing brew install hub or by visiting their GitHub page. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to clone a repository called Meteor Boilerplate. You'll know why in a second. So we can do this in many different ways. I'm just going to show you one example of how to do that. I'm going to go over in my into the browser and copy the URL to my clipboard. Immediately jump back into my terminal where you can see I'm in a temp folder for my Meteor apps. And I'm going to do git clone. Oh, copy that again. Git clone, pass the URL, and I'm going to create a new folder for that. So now it's retrieving all that information. Awesome. I can CD into my new app. And right away, I'm going to run Meteor, which is going to start up our server for us and give us access to this website on localhost port 3000. So if I refresh this, boom, we've got a functioning web page. So this is all thanks to Matt. He's got a collaborator as well. You can find this on their GitHub page. I scroll down to the bottom. And we're in business. This is a live functional web page that we have immediately cloned. Cool. However, we're not done there. Um, what you want to do now is you want to take this skeleton and create your own project. So step one was pretty straightforward. Step one involved finding the URL, copying it, and then simply doing git clone. But if I do a git log, it's going to spit out that mumble jumble of text. So I'm going to do it in my custom way with the alias that I've built. We can see all of these commits by Mateo. And what we want to do is create our own repo. So I'm going to list all the files in this directory. And I want to find anything with git. Okay, and there we have it. So what I would really like to do is to remove that git folder. And it says, wait, this is a directory, so I'm going to force it. And now if I do git log, it says, look, you're not in a git repository. That's right, because I just deleted it. So if I run my search again for git, we've got our git ignore folders, and that's exactly what we want. So I'll clear that out, and now I'm going to do git status again, and it says not a git repo. Interesting. So I'm going to do a really neat trick um, that hub provides, which is hub create and then pass it a name. Oh, so first I'm going to init. So I've initialized an empty git repository, and then I'm going to run git create, excuse me, hub create git app. And it says, created at this. So now I can go back into my browser, and I can go to github slash username my app. And there we go. So git status. Look, we've got all this stuff there. So I want to git add all git status again. Now they're green. They're all ready to go git commit minus m first commit git status again and it says nothing okay so now we do git like the instructions read here git push minus u origin master it's pushing all of that from my local repository out to the public repo at GitHub. So if I refresh my browser, there it is. 
I've got my new project, my Meteor boilerplate, all set and ready to go on a clean branch. So if I do git log, there you go. Now you've taken over this project. So I'm going to summarize all that because it's, it's a lot to take in. This, the first step is find a URL from GitHub. Copy the URL after git clone inside your terminal. This will copy the repository for us. Then you're going to want to remove the git file so that you can clean the slate or start your own git repo. And then hub create. Um, download hub if you don't already have it. It's really helpful. And then five, you're going to do the following workflow, which in git you do over and over and over. Git add all, git commit message, some commit message here, git push, and that's it. Now you notice that I've aliased a lot of this stuff. So if I go back into my terminal and I type in edit bash, you can actually see my bash file here. So if I search for git commit, you can see that I've got a shorthand for git commit, git add, git status, git log, which is what creates those nice pretty printouts. And this type of stuff is highly recommended because you're going to be doing all of these commands repeatedly over and over and over again. So you might want to take a screenshot of that. Introduce these into your .bash profile and it'll save you a lot of time over the long run if you are in fact using GitHub. So thanks a lot for watching. Again, my name is Derek Braid. You can find me on the web cashflow.ca or on Twitter at Royal Arse. Please leave your comments or questions. If you have anything that you would like to see me improve upon or any requests for future tutorials, just let me know. I'd love to hear it. Thanks a lot.